Hi, welcome back to another episode of Roll for Damage. Tonight on Making Monsters number 3, we're going to be making a shambling mound uh, for the shambler spell. All these materials I basically pulled out of my backyard. So I'm going to start off with a 1 inch uh, base or a medium base. Uh, a shambling mound actually is a large creature and would re take up the space of four squares or three hexagons if you're following my hex uh, tile series. However, for my campaign, uh, they're slightly modified and they're a bit smaller. So uh, feel free to uh, stay with this scale and build alongside or bump up to the actual scale of a large, uh, which would probably give you better detail and a lot more uh, free way to, uh, to add and take away things that you want. Okay, so I started off with a piece of cypress mulch, um, and then I cut out some small little segments of a toothpick. That way I can make the legs and arm joints, and uh, I just applied hot glue and basically put two legs down, and I make it in a walking motion. Um, so I did the two thighs, and now I'm doing the lower part of the leg. I'm then coating everything with hot glue to hide that toothpick bone structure, per se. And the, the really fun thing about this was the hot glue actually uh, being messy worked to my benefit for the first time in that I could think of, period, in a craft. So it was really fun to let loose and uh, kind of let the wisps fly. Uh, because all that does is add extra detail for vines and various uh, foraging kind of details. Alright, so next I am applying the arms. I made the arms pretty long uh, because uh, I looked up a few images of these shambling mounts and they all seem to have longer arms. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a, I, I added uh, super long arms and I'm going to go back and coat all of those arms as well with that hot glue. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, what you see me doing there is I actually put two beads of hot glue on the uh, wax paper. And I'm using a toothpick to basically pull that hot glue up the leg as it dries. And it gives it a wider foot stance and a thinner uh, portion around the kneecap. Which was, you know, a classic uh, monster, you know, natural nature monster look. Elemental is what I'm trying to get out um, next, I'm coating this with a moss that I found at uh, the Dollar Tree. This could be found in their uh, floral section with the, the beads and the, the marbles and the candles and all that stuff. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting, just very lightly, I, I want more of the texture, not so much of the fluff. It's okay to have some fluff, but you don't want to be uh, so fluffy that you can't paint it. So I coated it in hard glue and I pushed that foam deep into the hot glue. Uh, and, and please be cautious. I, I know that I, I tend to touch this hot glue uh, really easy and some people that watch me do this is like that's really hot. I do come from um, a cooking background and I tend to have uh, hands that can withstand a lot of heat. Uh, so just be cautious if, if you're doing this. That is hot glue. Um, don't burn yourselves. Okay, again, I'm just making some final adjustments, removing the wisps between the legs that uh, I didn't think it needed. And now I'm going to put down two beads of hot glue uh, and do his uh, the arms the same way I did the foot. I'm just going to touch them, uh, hold them, pull them a little bit as they're cooling, and that just leaves these little claw-like appendages that hang off the tips of them. Uh, if it's too hot, use a toothpick, um, like I'm going to do next, just to show you. This is sped up pretty uh, exponentially as well, so uh, it does take a little longer than it appeared. Next we're going to take our bottle cap base and I'm going to sand it very well. Uh, it is plastic so you want to make sure that it gets a good adhering to uh, that plastic. And I'm going to take some various other things that I found in my backyard, some more mulch, little twigs and more uh, leaves and I'm going to glue that to the base as well. Uh, there you see me doing the same thing I did to the arms, but in this case, I'm gonna touch it and I'm gonna pull away from the pull away from the base. Uh, that way, you get this final result. This is flat black uh, bombed 
and you see how it looks like a marsh lake and overgrown full of weeds and down trees or whatever whatever you think it looks like but it definitely looks like a woodsy kind of feel to it um, now I am going to paint it I believe this color is called dark bark brown uh, and it's true to its word this is a very dark brown uh, after this, I'm going to coat it with a brown called milk chocolate, I believe, uh, and hit the highlights with the milk chocolate. But I'm not going to do total coverage. I'm only doing parts with the milk chocolate. And after that, I'm going to go back with this leaf green, which is a dark green, and it's probably going to dry to about the color of that cutting board beneath. And then after the, the leaf green, I'm going to go back and add another green called uh, bright green I believe and the more layers I find of paint that I can add on it the different colors the better it looks I am not the best painter so for me that kind of hides a lot of my flaws um, so this is the base and I, I or sorry this is the the one that I showed you how to build and the Chambler spell uh, actually produces at least three or more shambler mounds, shambling mounds. Uh, so I went ahead and I did a few more. Uh, I tried to show you, but for some reason the video was uh, was not uploading, so I just decided to scrap it. But anyway, uh, I live in Louisiana and I have cypress trees in my backyard. So those little berries and the additional leaves I pulled off my cypress tree. And I just figured they would make really good flowers. Um, so I have five, and instead of me actually labeling all my monsters, what I did was I just colored the flowers or different details a different color. That way I knew which monster uh, was which, and I didn't have to guess. And I, I, I have to admit, I'm super pleased with these. Uh, this was a lot more detailed than I was expecting that I could do myself. Uh, like I said in a previous video, it's been years and years and years since I've painted minis. Uh, but these didn't turn out too bad. Anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, I had a blast making these things. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe. Uh, make sure you click that bell for all notifications. And uh, please give me some feedback on what y'all think.